I've never done anything like this before. Like, I'm a child of God. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. My name's Kayla. My tongue's red as fuck. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. My name's Kayla. Today I'm gonna be revealing your secrets. I asked you guys on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, say ha ha. And you guys sent me your secrets. Um, only 12 of you did. I wish I got more secrets because this video might be short as fuck. I'm sorry if it is, but yeah, I asked you guys to send me your dirtiest, cringiest, grossest secrets. They're going to be anonymous, obviously. This video idea is from Adubs, and I'll link her channel down below. But I do have a part one of this, so I'll link that down below as well so you guys can go watch part one. I did get more secrets on that video, so definitely go check that out. I just think this video is a really fun idea, and it's different. So yeah, let's just get started with the video. So yeah, like I said, I don't have a lot of secrets, but it'll do. Thanks to everyone who does send me your secrets. So the first one is, this is for YouTube. I used to have the biggest crush on my adopted cousin, and I still think he's cute or whatever, but whenever I see him at family reunions, it's really awkward. At least he's your adopted cousin and he's not your blood because that would be just a little tiny bit weird. <laughs> I'm gonna make you feel better. Um, Before I knew that one of my cousins was my cousin, I thought he was cute as shit. I didn't know he was my cousin. My parents say he's not my cousin, but technically he is. I don't know. I don't think he's cute anymore, but when I was younger, I did. So I feel you on that one. And I just remembered, I literally haven't been to a family reunion in years, since I was like 10. I was at a party and I walked in on my best friend fucking one of her dad's, one of her friend's dads. Okay, this would be much better if it wasn't her friend's dad, or maybe just a little bit better because I'm guessing he's pretty old or not old but like better than she is because he's a dad but that's a little whack i hope all is well with them so this is from my boyfriend's mom my son puked in my mouth when he was little you might know him haha <laughs> so she's not talking about my boyfriend she's talking about my boyfriend's brother that's so gross why did he puke in your mouth and not like away from you that is so gross I'm absolutely obsessed with popping pimples. I even pop my husband pimples on his back while he is sleeping because he won't let me when he is awake. And I binge watch pimple popping on YouTube. Bro, oh, I feel you. I, it's so satisfying. My boyfriend doesn't let me pop his pimples and I've never thought about doing it while he's asleep, so I might have to do that. I watch Dr. Pimple Popper all the time. Some things I can't watch because it's like super freaking gross, but sometimes it's like satisfying as shit. I thought I was the only one, but that actually makes me so happy that you actually do that. But I'm surprised he doesn't wake up when he sleeps. I will have to try that on my boyfriend and hopefully he doesn't wake up because he'll be pissed as fuck. The girl I've been trying to get with doesn't want a boyfriend, but she used to like me and honestly it's tearing me apart. This makes me sad, but maybe she just doesn't want a boyfriend right now and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, if it's meant to be, then it'll happen. Love takes time. You just gotta wait and see what happens from there. Hope everything works out for you and she ends up wanting you as her boyfriend. And since she used to like you, you have a very high chance of being with her, so remember that. So this girl's from Canada, I believe. Um, I still get my mom sleep for comfort cause my anxiety. So I'm pretty sure she means I still get my mom to sleep with me for comfort cause my anxiety. I feel you, anxiety freaking sucks. If I'm having like a bad, bad panic attack, I'll wake my mom up during the night. If she's not home, I'll call her and she'll like come over. I do have to wake her up sometimes when it's really bad because she just makes me feel better. So I get you. Um, this is pretty much a good thing because you don't want to be alone during an anxiety attack. So it's okay, girl. We only have one mom, so love her while you can. My old friend's girlfriend sent me news while they were together because she thought I was daddy-ish. That's so dirty. Um, I hope you didn't send them back because that would be kind of awful to your friend, but I hope your friend doesn't know about this. Me and Blank got drunk at Blank's house and had sex in her boyfriend's brother's bed with like 50 people downstairs. Okay, her and her husband got drunk at their friend's house in her boyfriend's brother's bed with like 50 people downstairs. Hopefully they didn't hear you. I mean, you were drunk, so you probably didn't really know what you were doing, but 50 people, 
Girl, I don't even have two friends. I don't even have one friend. <laughs> yeah, hopefully nobody heard you or saw you because that'd be very awkward. I stole my mom's car and got chased by the cops from Route 1 all the way to Route 3 when she wasn't in town, but they never found the car. We had to change the license plate and all. Never done anything like this before. Like, I'm a child of God. I'm surprised the cops didn't, like, actually get to you. Like, they chased you, but they never got to you. Um, it's good that you changed the license plate. That is a very smart idea. But your mom's car... Does your mom know about this? <laughs> Probably not. My ass would get whooped. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend were doing it, and his mom walked to the door and almost came in. Hopefully, you guys got dressed in time and everything, where you said and almost came in. So hopefully she didn't hear you guys doing anything. I've been in a situation like this. I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, I understand the awkwardness there. My biggest regret is my mom. I don't know what she did to you. Maybe it was something really bad. Like I said, you only have one mom. So love her while you can. Try to make good with her as you'll never know when or what will happen to her. Okay, this is the last one. Literally used to eat the breading off mozzarella sticks and mash up the cheese into a ball and put Mountain Dew on it and eat it. I gagged reading that over. Uh, give me one second. <laughs> I'm back. I literally almost gagged myself just thinking about this. So you took the burning off the mozzarella stick, mashed up the cheese into a ball, and put Mountain Dew on it and <coughs> eat it. This is probably the best secret of them all. That is I'm not here to judge, okay? I'm sure I've done something gross like that in my past. Maybe not that gross, but maybe. Hey guys, that is the end of my video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, leave your hands below. Subscribe, I do plan on doing a part three because I love these kind of videos. So make sure next time you guys send me your grossest, dirtiest, cringiest, secrets because I will be able to make a longer video and everyone wanted to see this video but so I'm surprised that no one really sent me your secrets but if you did send me a secret thank you so much because you allowed me to film this video we all have shit that we regretted or wish we didn't see or hear you're not alone stay happy bye guys I'm gonna be rating Netflix shows and telling you guys what all these shows are about if you should watch them or not and waste your time